Hi, just a very important message for everyone who uses Gmail. It turns out that you're automatically opted in for Gmail slash Google slash Alphabet uh, to use all of your, to use and read all of your personal messages and attachments to train their AI models and do other stuff as well. And you have to manually opt out of this if you don't want it. And you also have to give up a few very basic necessities as well. Let me show Show you here. Uh, if you go into the settings, which is this little uh, gear icon up here in uh, Gmail, and go to the general uh, tab down here and uh, scroll down, you'll notice um, that uh, grammar, spelling, autocorrect, and smart compose features are disabled because I have just disabled this uh, smart features functionality, which gives Gmail permission to uh, read all of your private messages and attachments and use it to train AI models. Um, if you don't believe me, take a look here. How we're protecting your Google Workspace data in the era of generative AI. If you scroll down here and read this, your data stays in Workspace. Well, that's good to know, but uh, read on. We do not use your Workspace data to train or improve the underlying generative AI of large language models that power BARD, search, and other systems outside of Workspace without permission. Without your permission. But you've been opted into this and you've given them permission by enabling over here these this feature here smart features you can go to your gmail and check it for yourself and i bet you this smart features here is turned on turn on smart features in gmail chat and meet when you turn this setting on you agree to let gmail chat and meet use your content and activities in these products to provide smart features and personalize your experience it's not just personalizing your experience it means they're reading all your emails and attachments to train a generative AI models and it's hidden away in not one but two locations it's also hidden away in Google workspace smart features so if you want to turn this off and withdraw your permission from Gmail to use your data for generative AI you have to turn this off and you have to go into manage workspace smart feature settings and you'll find that both of these are enabled as well so you've got to disable both of those and save it and if you actually turn this offer on you have to uh, just turn off and reload here so you've got to turn both of those options off otherwise they're going to use all of your personal data to train ai models and as you can see here they tie it into basic functions it's like oh yeah gmail yeah i want spell checking of course you want spell checking so you innocently turn on or you've already been opted into after uh, these smart features which sounds like a smart thing to do <laughs> to get your grammar and spelling checking and that's what they rely on they rely on you wanting a basic feature like this so they tie it into the overarching uh, uh data you know ai train our large language models with permission so without your permission when you turn on smart features to get spell checking you're giving them permission for all of that ai stuff and it looks like they can give it to third parties as well google and third parties legitimate interests with appropriate safeguards to protect your privacy yeah i'm sure but they're also giving it to third party companies as well when you in um, enable this smart features so just be aware that you You've been opted into this automatically and you want your spell checker and your grammar checker but uh-uh they're using that to sneak you in to train all those AI models so there you go you're gonna have to give up some basic features here in order for your data not to be scraped and train these large language models so anyway hope you found that interesting as always discuss down below and over on the EV blog forum catch you next time